Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, 100% disk usage is really a very common problem on Windows 11. So if you're facing issues, 100% disk usage on Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer, this tutorial is for you. So whatever the steps which we are going to take, I'll be explaining those steps before, uh, you know, performing that. Please make sure you watch the whole video. And once you fix the problem, please hit the like and subscribe. So the very first thing here, we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here we need to type services.msc. Once you have typed it, click on OK. So here we are looking for connected device platform service. So this service is not required unless you connect your computer with a refrigerator or any other electronic device. So you can simply disable it. It is disabled in my computer as well. So you just need to do a right click and go to properties. And from here, the startup type should be disabled and you just need to click on apply and OK. Once you have done that, do a right click again and then click on stop. Once this is done, we need to look for sysmain. So select any of the service and type SYS and you will find sysmain. Now, in few of the computers, you will find you will not find sysmain and it will have a super fetch instead of sysmain. So sysmain is a service through which it makes it available. Whatever the apps we use, like let's say if I'm using Teams, Microsoft Teams or Paint or any other application very much. So it makes it available for us. So that service can also be disabled and this is the main cause of 100% disk usage. So this is a very powerful and effective step. You just need to do a right click, go to properties and select disable, click on apply and OK and then just do a right click again and click on start. Once this is done, close this window and we're going to move, move to the next step and that is again a very important step. Here in the search icon type CMD and then click on run as administrator and click on yes. And here type SFC space forward slash scan now. So you can note it down this command. This is a system file checker command and it fixes the problems. If you have any issues with the disk and the windows, it will fix it. So once you do that, you just need to hit enter and this might take two to five minutes to scan the whole computer. Then you need to restart the computer. Restart is a must. And then we will move to the next step. Now the next step is to update the windows. Now search here in search icon type windows and type you will find windows update settings. And here you need to make sure that you have all the windows update like, like the latest updates. Once you do that, if there is an issue with the computer that will be fixed because whenever we update our computer, I mean the Windows updates, it fixes a lot of bugs. Once you have done that, there is one last step which we need to follow and you just need to do a right click in the start icon, go to task manager and here we have many options and we need to go to the startup tab. Now here, we just need to maximize it. Make sure whatever the unnecessary unwanted applications are there. Please do not disable graphics, audio, security, or any other application which you're using um, at the startup. You can enable it. So you can see I have hardly five services enabled at the startup, which is actually essential, and rest of the applications are disabled. So I can use these applications later on whenever I want to open it, but I do not want them as a startup item. So once this is done, this will put off the load from the computer. The performance of your computer will be fit, uh, better and 100% disk usage on Windows 11 will also be fixed. So be it if you're using Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, this will fix the problem. Now the restart is a must. Once you restart, then try to check if your disk usage is lower or higher. And if it has fixed the problem, please leave a comment and let me know if it has worked for you. And guys, please hit the like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.